Alright, uh, uh, hello everybody, this is Rika T.Y. and Barclay, this is my good friend, uh, Greg, a.k.a. Anyway Project D, here yeah, live for what on Wednesdays, for all of you guys for joining in today. What's up, Dimahuka? So, uh, the reason why that you guys are at this angle is because uh, we have Greg recording for the audio and the actual video for his, from um, his laptop, so his side. And then we're going to be going to this side once in a while too. And then you guys can see the key in my background. Kind of. Okay. So <laughs> I'm going to be going back and forth with uh, this camera and then this one as well. So, um, got to welcome Buddy Greg. Yeah, that's it. My first <laughs> guest here <laughs> for one of the Wednesdays in person. Okay, so since you're my first guest, we're going to start it off with. Uh, we're going to be taking a shot. So I got some Patron Silver for us. Oh my god. And you know, he's not gonna be driving for a while, so. Yeah. Viejo, abajo. Alright. Kampai? Yeah. Woo! Uh, Alright. Ah. Okay, so. And so, um, if you guys are watching from my Instagram right now, uh, please feel welcome to say whatever, any questions that you guys want, okay? I'm probably not gonna be leaving the phone over here so far, so. Bottle over panel and. Uh, TYR. I never know how to pronounce your damn Instagram name. What's up, you guys? Thank you guys for joining in. So I'm going to be going back and forth. Uh, better Greg, how are you today? I'm doing good, doing good, doing good. Okay, so what we're going to be starting off today is um, going through some of the list. Yeah, that, that'll work. That'll still go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first thing that we're going to be going through is some of the things that we wanted to talk to on the list. So the first thing was... Um, I uh, will go right into a serious topic, the rise of crime, oh, yeah, the, sh the shootings going on around here. Um, first of all, there was a recent one. A kid or, got shot. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one that still stuck. That, that actually happened a couple months ago, but that's still fairly recent in my, my head. Yeah. Um, but for me personally, it's like, I'm, I'm a 50-50 on that. Mm -hmm. Like, when you think about um, how strict Hawaii gun laws are, as well as being one of the more stricter states, actually, to, to have gun laws, period. I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, everybody's allowed by our Second Amendment right to have weapons, point blank, more specifically guns. Um, and for this homeowner, I kind of feel for him because he was getting shot at. Mm -hmm. He was getting shot at, and it, it, it sucked. It sucked. Like, nobody wants to get shot at. Like, I had, personally for me, I had a gun put to my head before. I didn't like it. And at the same time, too, if you look at, like, the news following this this incident, it was it was the homie of the victim that shot at the guy. So, y'all shouldn't be, first and foremost, being pissed off at the homeowner. You guys should be pissed off at the, the, the victim's homie. Mm -hmm. Because on the stand, under oath, he said, I shot at the homeowner. Uh -huh. with a BB gun. Now, granted, from the alleyway to the homeowner's home is basically, because I live in El by Gentry, so the driveway from the from the road and the sidewalk is roughly 20, 23 feet. Now, visually, you could see a gun 23 feet, right? But you can't tell if it's real or not unless you look at it up close. Uh -huh. So, homeowner getting shot at, sees gun, immediately says, oh, I'm going to get my strap, Mm -hmm. and fire back. Yeah. So that's stand your ground. Now, believe it or not, as everybody says Hawaii does have a stand your ground law, there's actually no, no stand your ground law in the sense that we can shoot to kill. You need to have a reasonable amount of fear for you to kill somebody in order for that to be effective. Now, it was found out that it was a BB gun and this guy is getting tried for it. So, how does this random kind of kind of add up. Well, the, the way that I see it is the homeowner was defending himself. Point first and foremost. Yeah. And all the kids as well as everybody who's younger than the age of 25 are saying that, oh, fuck this guy, yada, yada, yada. Sorry, I'm crossing on Instagram. Probably, hopefully, Instagram don't flag this. <laughs> but we don't give a shit. <laughs> right, guys? We don't give a shit on fucking swearing and anything. Give us some feedback whether you give a shit or not whether I cuss or not. No. Anyways, but in, in the sense that he did kill the kid mm -hmm. in cold blood, one shot was more than enough to prove a point. Yeah. But I do understand, like, watching, reading the feed, commenting on it. I mean, I do definitely understand that 
more than one bullet does prove a point. See, by the same time. And T Y R. Yeah. Ah, Raja, thank you. They don't. They don't fucking care. Yeah. My guys, my friend, my fans are they fucking. No, they don't give a shit. <laughs> Raja. It's not like it's not like I was streaming the UFC fight. Oh shit. Yeah. And that should be a part of the topic too. Is the UFC fights how Instagram cuts it out? Mm. Well, a lot of it, mostly when you do creative content, a lot of it has to do with plagiarism. Mm. So that's why when uh, Facebook does this a lot too. Oh yeah. Um, I know a lot of you guys do this as well. When you go live on Facebook. Oh, yeah, and then you get they have, in the background. The first thing you have to make it obvious is the music you're playing does not belong to you. You don't yeah. have own. You, know, oh, you have to have the disclaimer. Yeah, you have to have some kind of disclaimer when you're putting up stuff out there. Um, I don't care. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Thanks. Yeah, so <laughs> when you're putting stuff out there, if it's not yours, you have to acknowledge with a disclaimer that it's okay. not yours. Um, kind of like YouTube. Kind of like YouTube. It's almost, YouTube it's, kind of, it's almost exactly like YouTube. Um, but Facebook would actually try to shut you down midstream oh, wow. if you don't put that disclaimer. So that's, in the beginning. Yeah, so Instagram is actually trying to do the same thing when it comes to... Uh, Shady deals, right, guys? Yeah, Shady yeah. deals. <laughs> Instagram isn't as bad, but I have been... I, I had had my live shut down a couple of times because of the, oh, okay. the live uh, video. I was playing some background music that didn't belong to me. Oh, okay. So... They do that with the same thing with UFC, mostly because you're not streaming it. Uh, yeah, it's not it's not being streamed from a, a paid platform kind of thing. Yeah, and then you just you know they're losing out money, but oh, yeah. it's like if you make a pay per view event about sixty bucks and you only want to watch one two fights, of course people are smart. Yeah, of course, <laughs> smart. Of course, especially Hawaii people, it's like oh, we're gonna see like two. There was actually two fights that. I had Matt Holloway and um. Oh, everybody and, loves the one and I won that and, and, and then had Pula. Yeah. With like his UFC debut, mm. so you know, but still, you can try to do something for free. You want to try yeah. to do it anyway. There's gonna be there's gonna be backlash for that. Yeah, so that's why a lot of people are getting cut off on streams yeah. from um, Saturday's fight. But, uh, but yeah, going back, had, to the, going back to the shooting. Back to the shooting. I I don't I honestly don't care if it's like a real gun or BB gun or whatever. If it's any kind of weapon, then you have. You, even if you're trying to play off, oh, yeah, yeah. like you're, oh, I'm gonna hurt you. Oh, I'm just joking. It was a BB gun. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You have the, you showed to me that there was in, the intent, intent that you're gonna either harm me or kill me. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter. It's like a lot of people think like, oh, they're pointing their guns at whatever. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter too. And then also too, when, when with like the gun shooting as well, like the further, fur, further into the, uh, further earlier on in the year, there was a shooting at Alamoana where from, from Lucky Strike. Yeah. I got a comment on that. How fucking stupid do you need to be to... <laughs> and yes, I am talking shit. So if you know about it, I got arrested for shooting somebody in cold blood. Like, if you can't fight for shit and you need a gun, like, for me, I'm not, I'm not a big guy on fighting. Don't, let's, 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 let's get that clear first and foremost. I try to avoid violence at all costs. Mm -hmm. um, for me personally, when it comes to that, if you're going to use a gun... And it's in a fight. I do believe in no holds bar. I do believe in a no no holds bar type of thing. Meaning like you fighting, and for me, I'm not the type of guy that says, "Oh, we bang until we get the point across." No, we bang until somebody dies. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why I don't go to that route. And to add, it's like it's one of those things where it's like you're stupid enough before the incident mm -hmm. to <laughs> to basically say, "Hey." I'm a gangster, here's my gun, and it was on Snapchat. Somebody recorded it. How stupid are you for that? Yeah, it's it's really dumb. <clears throat> um, I know somebody uh, 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 was a friend of mine who who suggested that. I think it was um oh it was Reef Shook. Shook shook the shock up, I think with his his thing on here. Um he said uh wanted to talk about uh, not only the shooting incidents has been going on because there's been like what one every day almost yeah yeah um also thinking does it tie to the new generation or the I, younger generation i don't really think it, it does because you, you look at especially the ogs like we're considered now ogs already mm. um and for me my background was i was a crip then i was an importer mm -hmm. while i was street racing so 
because I was a crip as well as a street an importer, and I was blessed out of that life. Believe me when I say, like, say for example, you're really tight with a with your shop collar, right? He can bless you out of that life. You don't necessarily need to be in a body bag, and especially with with the way the crips are ran. Believe it or not, even though there's so many multi sets, different types of crips, they all answer to one group, and that's the group founded by the Black Panthers themselves. Uh-huh. I was blessed out of that group. Because I happened to meet one of the founders who got out of jail. And he said, bro, you ain't a, you ain't a part of this life. Use a nun. And the term nun means <laughs> the term nun means non-aggressive, non-combatant. So instead of me going back to that life, I said, okay, since I know how to race, I know how to organize. Mm-hmm. I'd rather use the, that skill set and violence to do it. What if I can do this? Like, yeah, sample. You know, like do it here. And then flip one around. Yeah, you go. Okay, yeah, that's not better. Yeah, so it's one of those things where, I mean, like going back to the idea that it's our generation that is in charge of that. I feel as though because we have social media, we should be putting out more stuff. And I'm not saying this because I did take a leadership course at church. I'm saying this because I see it a lot, Mm -hmm. and I do mentor a lot of youth here on the island, um, youth that come my way by by way of referral, kind of like the Scare Straight program. Not in the sense where I, I go to them and then I, 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 get, I get actors or hardened criminals and all of that. I literally put them in a situation where I know for a fact that they're going to fail. And I make sure that the consequences are very, very real. Like, for example, two, four years ago, in fact, I had this one, one sister. She, she, she's like a full chola. But this girl goes to church. This girl... What is a chola? Chola, <laughs> for, for, for the viewers who don't, for know, the viewers who don't know what a chola is, it's basically a, a female gangster that's Mexican or any Lat, Lat, uh, Latina, basically. Mm-hmm. And this girl was certified. Like, And what the term means certified is that you're <laughs> able to do... Oh, sorry. Uh, you're it's, able to it's, do work. It's like, oh, whole oh, camera catching all the angles. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> all them angles. <laughs> Right, this guy is a this guy is a, a talented videographer. He says he doesn't know how to do shit when it comes to this stuff, but I give props to the leaks because he's he's really talented. It, it's it's mostly because I don't know the the I don't know the technical terms and I don't know like some boards. Hey, just like point that. and shoot. <laughs> yeah, that's what just point and shoot. <laughs> that was a lame joke. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. but one one pump shot, yeah. <laughs> one pump shot, no rapid shot. Not... <laughs> yeah, but going back to her, she she's literally certified. You know, she literally went to jail for like aggravated assault, all of that, and her parents wanted to set her straight. Uh-huh. So since I had a line in with some of the distributors here in Hawaii, I said, okay, homies, uh, we need to get this this girl scared straight. And she's like, they were like, okay, how will we do it? I'm like, give her an impossible task where she will fail. Put the word out that she's A, B, and C, which which she's not. She's a perfectly good girl. She's she's smart. She's intelligent, and she's goddamn gorgeous. However, she's stupid. She is, huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. I ain't talking about my ex. She's another level of stupid. <laughs> but I put her in that situation. She got pulled over with over fifty pounds of shabu, or basically we call it batu here in here in Hawaii, and. She got arrested. She she did hard time. Mm-hmm. She's still doing hard time, but she's eligible for parole actually this year. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So um. So you actually have, have to agree that uh, not the younger generation as a whole, but certain individuals yeah. more likely from the younger generation yeah. than from what. Pretty much uh, us would yeah. actually be yeah. No, and on top of that too, it's also what the media puts out. Like you got kids like Zan. Uh, Uzi Vert, hell, even six and nine, that fucking faggot ass son of a that faggot ass son of a bitch. Like he's supposed to be getting out, and I watched the court. Like I, I was watching his. They released like court docs or something like that. I don't know what I watched, whether it was a spoof or what or not. But he says he blames it not having his dad. I call bullshit on that. Like I, I know. A lot of influencers, and I follow a lot of influencers who are not close with their families, mm-hmm. and they turn out to be perfectly well-rounded individuals, well-rounded musicians, and he's perpetuating, like, he's one of those gang, wannabe gangsters that perpetuate, like, uh, a gangster lifestyle, but he just does it for clout, like, for example, Little Zan, like, he doesn't know how to hold, 90% of the rappers these days, especially the ones that are 
producing like these these mixes where kids are bumping it too. So we got Dan in the like hey, how's it going? What's up, Dan? What's up, bro? <laughs> um, they, they, they're they're perpetrating the lifestyle that these kids want to have. Like, ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm I'm saying I'm saying what I'm saying is perpetrate a lifestyle that's positive and. One one rapper who I'm not really a fan of, but I do love how he he he's kind of real about it is Meek Mill. Meek Mill, like I know you just throwing up a lot of names that I don't even care about. Yeah, it's it's, 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 it's hip hop reference. <laughs> yeah, I I'm not into. <laughs> yeah, it's a hip hop hip-hop nowadays. Yeah, but <clears throat> he's not the type to to say, oh, I'm not gangster, because mm-hmm. he doesn't portray it. But at the same time, he also puts it forward saying that hey, you need to work hard for it. Yeah. Like rappers, other rappers, like, um, or let's say R R and B artists, Tyrese Gibson, who played uh, I forgot the character, but he played several after several roles on the Fast and the Furious series and all of that. Um, he's also one of those hip hop artists and R and B artists that that say, hey, you need to work hard for what you get. Don't follow our lifestyle. Yeah. Like that's the artist that these kids need to start following, not not these wannabe kill popping sons of bitches and they're, they're perpetrating that saying that oh we can do this and not get away with it mm-hmm. that's some other bullshit right there let's see uh truly devoted started uh joining what's up thanks for joining in how's it okay so yes um yeah from that question um what i would think is that uh <laughs> mostly when you always want to hear what i say right so um usually when you go into a lot of the rising crime. There's not just one particular reason, there's a lot of factors. There's like everything else. There's a lot of factors that go into why things happen, especially when it comes to crime. Which a lot of it could be because a lot of everybody's like on the end of the rope. Uh, they don't they don't want to try to be homeless anymore or something like that. Uh, maybe they're in such distraught and emotional and maybe even uh, physical distress and um, a lot of physical pain that they're just trying to find some way to go out like a release yeah or not even a release of like I think maybe a release from life yeah. <laughs> but um, you know probably even getting very expensive nowadays maybe they just maybe they just feel like preach you know <laughs> they just cannot afford afford anything they don't want to be in the streets or anything like that maybe their wife or girlfriend left them it was really painful for them um, could be a lot of drugs. Drug use could be a very important factor when it comes to a lot of crimes. A lot of the rise of crime, if you take those from like uh, some of the projects in New York or anything like that, oh, yeah. a lot of it had to do because the community was very poor and lack also, of services. Yeah, lack of services, uh, lack of help financially from their own county, and they're basically just thrown over there so they can go out of society and go build up. Nicer neighborhoods oh, yeah. because of the pushing them out, yeah. pushing them out, pushing them out, basically. What's up, little boy? And so, some people they have to resort to drugs. Sometimes they get the drugs from outside because you know they go to the communities. Oh yeah. And then it's like, oh, I'll get you. I'll get. I'll give this to you. You gotta run this for me, but you gotta come out of the neighborhood. And they follow some people. They follow where the guys come from, and then that's just how some other people get involved in crime because yeah. a lot of oh, drug yeah. raiding. Um, so, booze and oh, sex somehow. So there's a lot of um, different reasons why a lot of people come into these crimes. I think it's mostly because people are getting nuts nowadays. <laughs> a lot of it is that's that's putting that's using the term loosing because getting nuts means is like, like from our generation is like getting nuts is like not acting colonial, but it's <clears throat> it's it's going to a point where it's like it's you're there like you said they're at the end of their rope. They don't. They have nowhere to turn to, and oftentimes finding a uh, average nine to five job isn't in the cards for them because not only of their background, but it's their socioeconomic status where it where it comes down to like their education and all of that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, even the drugs that were in back in our days, they made people do different things. Um, like what some people say, like. What is the other drug that is? They used to ask for clean yard or something. For, some <laughs> yeah, for real. Nowadays, everybody just wants to go crazy and shoot up or beat up people. Yeah. And you know, get that fix. Yeah. I mean, I working with people who are former drug users or current relapsers yeah. or like, people on parole or anything like that. Um, you you notice that kind of behavior in the change in behavior 
there was like somebody who would nobody in particular. I think somebody is. Somebody would actually go out, you know, be perfectly fine. Never known, you know, you know, you get to know some people, right? For my job, anyways. Um, since I work at IHS and then you do with oh, yeah. these people. So you notice a lot of behavior changes when you see these people, whether they are or they're not on something. Um, you, if you notice people who are drunk, you know when people are high. It's a, it's a straight up fact. And you can actually tell that certain drugs or whatever they're taking nowadays does change their behaviors and they could be a full 180. Yeah. And, um, you know, and you're still at the end of the road, everything's expensive nowadays. Yeah. And uh, speaking of expensive, uh, the next topic we're going to be going into is the one I was talking about yesterday. The uh, the proposal for to city city council for the increase in bus fares for public transit. Oh shit! Okay, so um, Greg will be here. Actually, you know, he drives, so it doesn't really pertain to him, really. But uh, for somebody like me and everybody else who takes public transportation. And you know, so I was watching. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, we may seem like we have like the shadiest kind of bus transferring over here, but we actually have one of the best in the country. Actually, it is one. It actually is one. So, of the best. Um, if you guys don't believe me, you guys have to go. Okay, I noticed that really well when I was in Arizona uh, back in September. Well, I, I, I actually have to add a caveat to that. Oahu County is one of the Honolulu County is actually one of the best. I've been to Maui, I've been to the Big Island, and their buses are about an hour apart. Our buses Monday to Friday, mm-hmm. generally from what I remember, so about okay. half an hour to forty five minutes. Half an hour, forty five minutes. Yeah. On the weekends, probably hour with traffic, hour and a half. Um, so it actually is better than the rest of the colonies. Mm-hmm. Um, and when they talk about bus fares and bus bus services around the United States, going off what Alika says, we are actually in the top five bus service. Yeah, so take that into consideration. Top five, and you think that our stuff is that bad? <laughs> I mean, no, because of the road, shitty road and infrastructure. Yeah. So basically, <laughs> what we're supposed to be paying our taxes for to fix the roads for Pretty whoever much. drives on it. Okay. Now with this proposal, I mean, somebody said like. This was proposed like two, three years ago, mm-hmm. but it's actually proposed like a year and a half. I can't remember exactly when. Yeah. But it was only like they're going to increase it by 120 percent. I think that was like I thought that was like so outrageous. Like that is like, outrageous. What is two hundred? What is that? Like a hundred percent? This means double of one thing. Almost double. Yeah. So 120 percent. Didn't think it was possible. Or anything like that. Um, just then came in and said, the city needs to roll out the whole card suit and also start rolling out the first electric buses. Um, just did. They actually just, some of the buses, not all of them, uh, some of them just started use, uh, had people using the whole carts. So I've seen people swiping them and they're actually using the modules in the, cl- in the bus. Yeah. Not all of them yet. I used one. <laughs> <laughs> but um, here's the basic, uh, I don't know if you guys, I don't know whoever's watching that actually saw this, but um, some of the starting prices right now it's one way two seventy five. Um, twenty five cents more than what I remember. Yeah, it was like it was like two twenty five before. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then went up to two fifty and another quarter up. Yeah. So right now, South Bus Tito Next for joining in. Right now, the one way ticket for a bus is two seventy five. Yeah. All day pass is five fifty. Reasonable. But they just started that five fifty. Holy yeah. shit! Thank so, God I got my license. Yeah. So um. If you guys don't know, they yeah, used, to, they used to have the bus transfers. Yeah, I remember that. Before. So they actually got rid of it from last year, and then they had this all day pass. So, but you can technically still before you could still use that as like an all day pass, like because they would leave it until like midnight or something. No, you actually got you only can use it once, and then you oh. could. Uh, I guess I got lucky. <laughs> yeah. So this all day pass would be, you know, you pay twice as much, and you can actually catch the bus nonstop within that. That a twenty four hour period. Yeah. Uh, some of the problem with that is that if you don't have five fifty, then you're just shy and you have to catch more than one bus, you know, you're out of luck. If you if you catch a bus late at night and you don't get off to work like maybe the next morning like me and you have all day pass from the previous day, you SOL. It, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, I already tried 
a lot of bus drivers, maybe one of them might let you get on and you might get lucky. Um, but five fifty for all day pass. Um, annual fee. Uh, now we'll, uh, we can go back into the shootings. We just talked about it more, more like specific ones, but we can go back into it. Um, right now, is this streaming live? By the way, yeah. Okay, so uh, the monthly pass used to be sixty for a couple of years, and then last uh, two years ago, sorry, it's, it's going to be two years in January yeah. coming up. So and that's for an adult rate. You have to try yeah, that. adult rate is seventy bucks right now per month. They want to propose it to 90. But they better be putting fucking Wi-Fi in those buses. That's all I'm... Like, if, if, if they're going to be charging that much, especially for the yearly rates, I mean, with, with the advances in technology these days, we should be able to have Wi-Fi on the buses. You cannot talk... Yeah, you can't even talk about Wi-Fi in a bus if they can't even control when to put on the fucking AC. <laughs> okay? I'm talking about it's fucking cold ass freezing, rainy outside, and they still decide to leave the AC fucking on. It doesn't well, matter. I mean, it, it's a variable easy because some people they sweat like me. Like even when it's when it's raining, I still sweat like a pig. That's the reason why I put my hat on because I need to absorb the sweat. I don't. I don't care what you say. If it's like late at night, you maybe you even walk like maybe a mile to the nearest bus stop. You cooling down while you wait for the bus. It's uh, two o'clock in the morning. You don't want the freaking easy blasting at two o'clock well, in the you, morning. Okay, let's just put it this way. I'm two hundred plus pounds. You are what? Two hundred soaking wet. I'm two, I'm still 200 and I'm freaking hairier than you. <laughs> I still sweat, but what I'm saying is... If they, You're like a fucking husky, that's basically all you is. You don't get hot through all that fur. Yeah. <laughs> He's an adorable Hawaiian husky. But the thing is, $90. They also want to increase... That, I mean, this increase is going across the board for um, handicapped people. Oh, yeah. Everybody. Um, students as well, your student passes. <clears throat> it's gonna be increased for everybody. The thing is, here's where it doesn't make sense. That's why I vented on yesterday when I went live on Instagram yesterday on my way home. Two seventy five to five fifty is not bad. Yeah, that's about a fifty percent increase. They're gonna change the one way from three. Okay. Increase the uh, increase the quota. That makes sense. All day go straight fucking to nine dollars. To kiss a bus all fucking day. And this is why I stressed about that this this is where you're losing money. This doesn't make sense. People can argue, five fifty? Oh, maybe they made it double. So that would have been eleven. So you're lucky you got nine. Like, no, this no, that's not double. No. That's not I'm not good at math, but that's something tells me that that's that's not double. No. This is where it, it may not be eleven dollars. And just because it's nine doesn't mean that you're like, oh, you're saving two dollars. You're not saving anything when you're catching the bus, okay? You're wasting money. You're wasting money. Okay, let's just say you pay five fifty for all day pass, okay? Just keep this in mind, guys. You catch two to three buses a day. Maybe want to get to work, I want to get back home, okay? Two. If you have to pay 120%, just to say 150%, okay? So you have to pay a times and a half more than what you usually do, which is what $9 is. You're still catching the same amount of buses. Yeah. For the same services, for the same conditions that the bus, the buses themselves are going through. And the bus stops are, okay? So you're basically paying for not more money. By the way, the passengers. We're not factoring the passengers. Yeah. So this is just, you're paying extra money for the same services, for everything else that you've been getting for the last two years. So from five fifty to nine dollars, you're losing a lot of money. If it was like maybe it wouldn't make sense if it doesn't make it straight to six. Yeah. So three, see, three one way, six all day. Yeah. It would have been way better, but no, they wanted to add six more thousand dollars. No, no, I think you know the reason why is because they also when when you're doing like transportation service because they also did a stint with helping people transport their their family members and all of that on top of factoring in my late father. Trans transporting him, you, you're talking about the cost of fuel as well. So that's, I think that's the reason why. But that is so minuscule compared to what ridership has to be, and it sucks completely. Yeah, especially if you're like a student or you're working like a minimum wage job that you really have, like you're dedicated and you want to catch the bus to work, all of that. Like I, for, first of all, I give you guys props. Like I give Barbara Nicole props every day because. 
ever since that one incident where I was on the bus, it was the 42 going to visit a friend of mine in town. Um, I missed my stop, three stops in fact, and I felt sorry for the grandma that was trying to pull the stop request in, asked for the back door. Like, we had other passengers and myself yelling at the driver, hey, you need to stop the bus, open the back door. I said, fuck it, I'd rather, I'd rather drive, deal with traffic, deal with bullshit drivers oh. on the road, people texting on the road, all of that, than the bus. So I give, I, honestly, I give you guys props for that. I mean, especially with, with, with some sketchy passengers on the bus. Yes. You, gotta, you still gotta go with your own. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, you know, all these bus related incidences, yeah. it's like, yeah. I never run into these people. Oh, you lucky son of a bitch. No, 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 no. When he's like, oh, this guy was trying to hit my car, or oh, this guy was doing something stupid on the bus. Like, I never run into these oh, people. What about the, the pervs on the bus? I never run into Those these like people. pedophiles. I wish I could. I would have, like, hey, like, I was getting pissed off at somebody that was, uh, he was eating sunflower seeds. I was like, he's not even spitting in a bag. No, he was sitting, he was spitting right in the freaking seat, right next to him. That's f- and it was like, there was like all over the seat. I had to stop. I, I didn't notice it because I wasn't sitting right across from him at the time. Yeah. But then when I, somebody moved, and then he got off too, I moved to the front, and I noticed it. And I went to go tell the bus driver, and the guy was already fucking long gone. <clears throat> but it's like, you know. You know how the fuck is that dude that you fucking are nasty? It's, it's disrespectful. You fuckers are, no, that's not disrespectful, that's fucking nasty. Like, these are the type of passengers that need to get banned. And in fact, they're the one that should be paying a huge fine for that. Yeah, well, that, the fine is the fucking increase on bus fares. Fucking hell. <clears throat> I was also stressing that, you know how hard it is to take out 70 bucks on an ATM? If you go to, if you guys know, if, oh, for those of you who don't know, you cannot buy a bus pass with a card. You got it's cash. I have to cash it out. Yeah, cash only. So, so let's say you're in a couple days going to see you are going to buy a bus pass over there. Maybe they changed it. I don't know. No, it's still cash. Okay. It's still cash. Okay. So there's an ETM by the side and you go take out money. You have to take out 80 bucks just for them to go get you a $70 bus pass. Now, if this goes through, this hasn't gone through yet. This is just a proposal. So, uh, people need to stretch this out. Maybe you can figure out how to make a petition letter to city council. Are you able to change that work for that? Because I know that they have like choke petitions for yeah, that. Yeah, so imagine, can you imagine you're taking out $100 to... Not to mention the bank fees too. Bank fees if it's not your bank. <laughs> the ATM that you're taking money out. Yeah. You're spending $100 just to take out fucking money for a $90 bus pass. And, you know, <laughs> actually it's more than that if it's not your ATM, your bank yeah. ATM. So there's still a lot of money. You're just taking out this for one month of bus pass. And you know, there's like $20, $20 that I could have gone to Dubai, something else, you know? So deep, pay for someone's gas. Yeah, so Uber. It's like, um, hopefully, if, if it's not me, if somebody else makes this change for uh, change.org to make sure that this doesn't go through because it's really hard. It's on, on, on top of the, the tax to tax people for how long and how much miles they use on the fucking thing. On the roads now. <laughs> like, fake, I gotta get bus, I gotta drive, and they go force me to take the rail. Okay, by the way, by the way, here's the thing with the rail. I, I was I was an avid supporter of the rail. Yeah. yeah. No, I know I was I was an avid supporter. The reason why I say was is because of this. They said that that motherfucker was supposed to be done by I would say 2009-2010 when it when the first concept planning and all that uh, was done. No, they started they started actually proposing that they, like. 19 something. No, but the, the project was supposed to be completed. 18. 2018. We're one fucking year past, and we're over. Oh, and by the way, the irony in this is you know the Florida State Bridge that killed several students? Mm-hmm. That same motherfucker who designed it is designing our rail. That's that's some amount of bullshit if you ask me. Yeah, so not only are we a year late, we're not even. Oh, going out two years late. <laughs> yeah, going out two years. Um, two. <clears throat> We're not even at to the point where it was proposed to finish. The original stop, which was supposed to be right in a right speck of town by Chinatown. Yeah. I thought it was supposed to be all the while. No, they were. He, whoever, was proposing to end at either Alawana or Chinatown. Or uh, U.S. Manoa. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. So, Chinatown was actually supposed to be the original stop for a rail. 
They just started testing out this fucker on the railing this year. I don't like early this year. They started testing it out. Oh, like, you know, it does. It's like it's. It looks like you're going to the same speed as the one in Pearl Ridge. <laughs> that's true. That's very true. Did you see him on Franklin High? Yeah, yeah, so that's how, that's how fast the fuck he is running right now. How is that supposed to be traffic, huh? <laughs> you still don't get that at the same time as a boss or car, you know. And we gotta pay more for that. <clears throat> so, a lot of a lot of people are speculating that this rise in bus fares is supposed to be forcing people to take their rail. Yeah. Because the fares is gonna be similar. Oh, yeah, that, that, yeah. That's, They're gonna be similar when they have the rail finally running. Yeah. Which is still all in itself stupid. You might as well, if they were gonna charge for that, they might as well just charge a flat rate fee. Like, since I'm planning a trip to Japan sometime this year as well. It's not such thing as flat rate fee in a way. Yeah. But in, 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 in a way, they sh- there should be a standard fee, whether flat rate or not, um, that they have in Japan. Like, for example, the, the Shinkaisen, which is the main the bullet train. Mm-hmm. They have four different types of passes at four different rates, mm-hmm. but they're a flat fee that in Ensures one hundred percent for the year. That's what you're paying for. You can use that as like the holo holover, the holo holo cart, holo cart. Yeah. Holo cart. You could use that, and it's one year fee. It's not a prepaid thing. It's already built to the state. You pay it directly to the state, mm-hmm. and it's it's done with. That's the only fucked up thing that that I don't see Hawaii adopting. And ultimately, too, we have to blame our legislatures as well. We have to blame that they have to shoulder ninety percent of the blame. Like, for example, Gobrakis, who was the front, the first, the first chair for Heart, Hawaii, Hawaii, uh, Hawaii. Don't ask me. Uh, <laughs> well, it's something rapid transportation authority, something like that. It's a rapid transportation authority. Oh, no. <laughs> um, his seventh package was six figures. That six figures could have easily gone to paying contractors or even that yet. Yeah, bettering our infrastructure. Yeah, but it would be cheaper just to bring people from the mainland to come over here and do it. Because if you bring all your... It's the local. It's cheaper, yeah, but it's... <clears throat> it's cheaper to bring materials here than people. Very true. So that's why it doesn't matter, like... That's, <coughs> that's why a lot of people don't understand what these infrastructures, these buildings, these projects oh, yeah. are... That's... Uh, mainland company, whether they're private or public, whatever, on the build over here, so since they... Uh, TMT. He said, "Oh, that's a whole other yeah, topic." Like, like this, to break it down for us, uh, similarity, TMT people think it's going to create jobs. In a way, it does, but but it's not for local people. Yeah, it's not for not for local people anyway. They're going to bring people that they know from the mainland down over here because not only their partners are ready, they're invested workers. Yeah, it's cheaper for them to fly over here than to pay for more people from. But, but at the same time, too, like. Just to play devil's advocate, please don't, guys, don't roast me in the, don't roast me in the comments. But yeah. At the same time, too, I think the reason why they're shipping people over here is because they have a, a variable expertise, and they're actually certified not only by their 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 degrees and whatnot, but they're certified by our national government, more specifically the NSA, uh, DOD, and DOJ. And there's not many contractors like that here in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Um, When my late father was working, there was only about 100, maybe to 200 people that were certified to work on projects like the telescope. Um, But now, I don't know how much there is. And on top of that, to pay these people, like you said, locally, it's going to cost the state an arm and a leg, maybe their ass. Yep. And then, freaking, we're already in debt, like, how much, right? (laughs) It's like, I don't know what it is. Don't bring up the word debt with me. That's a taboo. That's taboo for me. Oh, Oh, I'm not in... I'm not a student on that. Yeah, anymore. fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the reason I flicked him up, and that, that's just lighthearted, but I'm proud of this brother. He got his education and all of that. Me, I was trying to be a good son and help my mom and dad take care of me. Well, you know what? I don't even use my damn thing. <laughs> that's true. I never, I never use it to get my job currently right now. And, you know, yeah, but I, I have something to fall back on. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, I mean it's, if you guys are pushing for a college degree, Nothing, you know, more, more power to you. If you guys can actually use it for a field that you guys want to, for your dream job, go for it. Yeah. I'm just saying, you Be know, practical also when you're trying to find a college degree, yeah. as well as a career. Like, don't, yeah, don't try to be as, don't try to be too specific to a certain job. Yeah. It might not, if you're in Hawaii, it might not be available. Yeah. Which, actually, that's actually a pretty good thing. <laughs> Maybe not at a time. 
But if you go to the mainland, there's a lot of the jobs for Special a lot jobs. of people. Yeah. Um, you come over here. There's like a lot of jobs for like uh, computer science or uh, graphic design. Yeah, graphic design. Gra mostly for promotions because we do a lot of promoting here. Hence tourism. Yeah. Um, yeah. So a lot of graphic designs. Uh, anything to do with tech. Um, not so much infrastructure because we have, I think we have too much people like that nowadays. Uh, not enough qualified people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, the medical field. So. Oh, we need we need we need nurses. Oh yeah, and teachers. We need teachers. Um, yeah. So anything to do with, um, you know, not the the real hard hitters of the med yeah, medical so like field and uh, nurses, medication. CNAs. Um, yeah. Hospitality is a big one. Actually, it's actually what thirty five, if not fifty percent of Hawaii's economy. Um, but I know it's a, it's a it's a big chunk. Yeah. Um, and then we also need educators as well. Yeah. A lot of. People, but don't get educated job because teacher salary don't be shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> benefits are good, but they don't be shit. Yeah, unless you're unless you're like um, what's that trick they call it? Professor. No, no, no. What's the specific higher? What's the tier of of a professor? It's like, uh, uh, so tenure. Tenure. There you yeah. go. If you can get that, if you as if you're a university level, yeah. you have like two PhDs and a master's. Yeah. If you get tenure, then you're freaking good. You set for life. Yeah. Okay, um, so I guess we can take this other cheers too, because I just I don't know if you guys know, I never posted it, but um, my student loans are all paid off. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna you, sip this because that one burned going down. It's not mezcal, so it's blanco. So I graduated from school six years ago, 2013. College. Yeah. And my loans were at the college dropout. <laughs> <laughs> my loans started off at um. That's the still recording. Um, um, my loans started ended up or was sixteen thousand. Oh wow, something for for a four for a two year or four year? No, no, no. This was like over five years. Okay, so ba basically bachelors to associate to bachelors. Yeah. So I um, just paid off. Uh, this year, so it was like big, that's like one of my big accomplish, accomplishments. I didn't do it by myself, but you know, I had help with family and everything like that, so I got through it. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Lucky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next topic. Um, I mean, not to go back to fall back on the shootings, but a lot of the other stuff. Because mm -hmm. <clears throat> that, that basically is an overarching subject as it is. Yeah, it's really bad to the Freaking point where it's just like, what are people doing? Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I'm gonna put it up to you guys um, for the four. Oh, now it's four, it's, it was six. Uh, <laughs> Sorry if I'm boring you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, how, this is how it sometimes goes. A lot of the ones who usually come on aren't on yet. Okay. But uh, for you guys who are watching right now, if you guys have any questions, suggestions, like it says on the pinned comment on the bottom, you guys can feel free to post it. You guys have any, you know, you guys don't have to freaking follow any rules over here. Just being respectful, don't say anything stupid to me, or I'm gonna block you up. <clears throat> um, but I don't think I have a problem with that. If you guys are watching, you guys have any suggestions about anything else going on? We talked about the shootings and the rise of crime already, uh, pretty in, pretty much in depth at the beginning of the stream. Yeah, um, thirty minutes away. Yeah, yeah, we talked about the uh, the freaking bus fares. Um, there's some other things. Uh, you guys have any? Okay, can we talk about how stupid this one question is? Would you rather the aliens that make first contact be robotic or organic? Oh yeah, that's so stupid. That is. Where's the dirty ones at? <laughs> uh, would you rather lose the ability to read or the ability to speak? Uh. Based on those two questions, I think it's read. I don't know. I, I, I don't know my voice. <laughs> I think it's read. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Would you rather be in jail for a year or lose a year of your life? Yeah, I'd, rather use, I'd rather lose a year of my life. Again, are you thinking I'm thinking? I, I'm surprised it's still alive, by the way. <laughs> With all the shit we did? Mm -hmm. right <laughs> Oh here's, a, oh, here's an interesting one. Would you rather have a golden voice or a silver tongue? Ooh. How about you guys? What do you say? Would you rather... I can spell in here. Would you rather have a golden voice, not golden girl, 
<laughs> or so we're talking. Freaking Betty White. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we're talking, you can talk your way out of 90% of the situation. Bring him on, you're a good talker. Yeah. But I think, I don't know, I'm, I think I'm pretty good at talking already. I think I might have a golden voice because, you know, I think my singing voice could be better. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this one's easy. Would you rather be covered in fur or covered in scales? I'm already covered in fur, so fucking whatever. I might as well just keep going. Fur. <laughs> it grows back. Oh, how about this one? Would you rather be always 10 minutes late or... Uh, or always 20 minutes early? No, I want to put a twist to that one. Would you rather be 10 minutes... Or always be 10 minutes late but prepared? Or always 20 minutes early and unprepared? That's kind of like a double-edged sword with that question. Uh, okay, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would rather be 10 minutes late and prepared. Yeah, I'd rather be late. Because at least that way you can immediately jump into whatever, whatever you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Um, I know some of the things that people want to talk about. They were like, uh, I mean, a lot of the rising crime and everything was like pretty much... That's the, the predominant yeah, one. Yeah, that was like the biggest topic that people wanted us to talk about. Um, and nobody's giving suggestions over here. Come on, guys! Yeah. So a lot of people were like, me. Mm. We got what we wanted. Yeah. Uh, well, what I wanted to talk about was um, 20, uh, not 20, a 10, a 10 year challenge. Oh. So they wanted to, somebody wanted to hear me talk about what, what happened 10 years ago. Yeah, what happened with me or what changed about me in the last 10 years. Okay. Um, so... Let's go with the leaker. Oh yeah, okay, so... Uh, how it was for me before was... Um, was like my second year in college. Um, I wasn't particularly seeing anybody. I think I was just going around... I was trying to. I was going out... Uh, I was trying to... Did you have those pigtails back then? <laughs> no, actually. <laughs> I've never I was that just, um, I, I, I still have my short hair, so I was still growing my hair out. Um, but yeah, that was when I was I was trying to I was dating this girl named uh, Kapua, um, beautiful girl, with well spoken, nice smile. I met her in a little of an E class moment, like two hundred one. So it was like, a, um, but it was really she was awesome. She danced hula too. Oh, nice. So she was like. Something I was like, oh, I'm gonna find somebody who would dance with her. I thought she was the one. It was like fucking oh, I so I was like so into her. Uh, uh, infatuation is like yeah. So you, were, you know, I just yeah, it's like <laughs> that's thing that it didn't work out for me or for us. Um, I mean that's okay. She, it was just like at the point where I was, you know, I wasn't really. Uh, uh, I don't know. I could, it, was, it was hard to explain. I was just like I wasn't really into it. The, the dating scene so much. Yeah. So I wasn't like heartbroken over it or anything like that. Um, eventually I did end up meeting with my ex that same year going to my sophomore year. So I wasn't really like, yeah, you know, it's fine. It is um, what it is. Um, the ex and everything like that, she's cool too and everything. We're still cool. We're still talking. Um, Life goals. Yeah. Connect with your ex then. Yeah, my ex, my ex Tiana. So, you know, everything's all good. We're just... Uh, Friends. And, uh, <clears throat> I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. Most of the big change is that I was. I'm not skinny anymore. I'm not muscular. And I'm not as fit as I was, even like last five years ago. Um, you were jacked five years ago. Though. It wasn't because I didn't have much fat, and I was active. I was always walking around. I was always going everywhere. I was everything I did. I was like, I was riding my bike from like UH to Waikiki to go hang out, go beach, whatever. Well, oh, that's would, cardio for days. Then, then I would ride my bike, my bike back. Um, biggest change I'd say would probably be about um how much my hair has grown and got cut because <laughs> of Disney and all of that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And two thousand twelve, I went to Disney. Yeah. I went. I met my other half over there too. I was dating for a long time, seven years, and so it was like, you know, it was off and on, but still, you meet that one person, you just can't get over it. Uh, Dustin says golden points. <laughs> well, Dustin here he has a pretty, yeah. he's pretty well 
uh, pretty well lit. Yeah. You're pretty literate already, dude, so I'm like, actually, I would, I would love to hear Justin sing. That would be fucking... <laughs> Are we talking yeah. Justin that was, Are we talking about the Justin that got drunk off the Maker's Mark? Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> <How's it, bro? laughs> okay, so um Greg, you wanna talk about the, some of the biggest changes so in let's your see, tape I am, I'm twenty eight now, I'm going twenty nine tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um let's see. You both <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> um for me, ten years ago. I I just started my advocacy business, meaning helping families with children with autism. Mm-hmm. Um, still do that to this day. Um, I was in a toxic relationship. Aliko is a witness to that for about a good two or three years. Oh yeah, we're so toxic that her it was started showing on her face. <laughs> um, and it was an LDR, so long distance too. Um, let's see, going back 10 years, oh, wow, that's, that's a journey right there. Um, started my weight loss, so I was, at that age, I was around 290. Mm-hmm. I'm 275 now. Plateauing between 260 and 275, again. Um, let's see what else. At that point in time, I was around four, maybe $5,000 worth in debt. And then at another point in those 10 years, I was debt-free. Um, and that was actually when I got encouraged to go into the medical field. Because uh, of my dad, he got sick, sicker and sicker. Uh, we would actually have to have more home care, come over, take care of dad. I wasn't satisfied with it. So that was actually when I was appointed as my dad's registered nurse. Now, I'm not a registered nurse by trade. Um, by trade, mostly I do body work for cars and all of that. Uh, mostly at home stuff, not, not nothing major like regular jobs. Um, at that time too, I was also, I was two years working with my brother Gareth who has autism. So I started working at a young age as well. Still have the job, still getting fully employed with the state of Hawaii. Not pretty good benefits, don't work for the state of Hawaii by the way. <laughs> Good pay, but nothing else, you know? Uh, not really, because I'm, I'm working below minimum wage. Really? Yeah, because it's around 11 dollars an hour. Oh my god. Yeah. I see, I'm, I'm happy I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, because I cannot take a pay cut in that. So. Yeah, so now, but like, that, that's just a little tidbit. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I also got... That was the year that my name was removed from the FBI, TSA, um, DEA, and ATF watch list. Um, simply because there was an incident in high school where somebody found a weapon in my backpack. Not a gun, but a hunter's knife. K-bar to be specific. Um, they were digging around in my bag for no damn reason. And it was ironic because it, it was two of the bullies that bullied me in my class that found it. And they thought, oh, it was meant for them. But it was honest oversight for me that got me put on that watch list. And it wasn't a mini pocket knife. It was like a good, I would say, five dollar foot long kind of knife. So it was a pretty substantial knife. I should have gone to jail for it, but I didn't. Um, that was just house arrest. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> well, I'm just radio station. <laughs> well, you wanted to do the podcast format, so. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was like. Oh, you know, I did. I honestly didn't think we were gonna go through. So many topics. The topics so fast, that's why. Right. Usually it takes them forever. Well, it kind of does because we're already at the hour mark on yeah. the recording. Yeah. So I was like, um, I mean, uh, I usually leave it out for everybody to, you know, they want that put the foot, put it on the floor. I can't fucking talk. That's true. Sure, you only two shots in. That's a shot. <laughs> it's just how I am. Uh, but what everybody what everybody knows is that if you want to go through this live, it's just um, spitballing. Going through it, talk about it for a little bit, going through it one at a time. But uh, <clears throat> I guess that's it because um, I got nothing else to talk about. Yeah. I, um, uh, sorry if you guys were underwhelmed or something. Actually, I don't care. You guys watch, you guys love it, you guys whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> this is actually telling me about like, another hour. 
actually just, just keep going. Uh, I won't go off for this because singing actually does damage you to an hour. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about this one. I don't want to record as long as that. I'm going to go back online, so hopefully I'll see you guys on one more time. Okay, bye. Oh! Hey, what's up, guys? Just finished the edit. Guess that like, you like that video? Give it a thumbs up. Remember a thumbs down. If you don't, yeah. we'll know what to do next time. Um, but if you're really interested in that and want to submit your topics to Alika, hit him up on Instagram at Hawaiian Blanca and um, submit your topics for Wafa and Also, please keep in mind that you need to be respectful when you submit it. So please do, please be respectful. And on top of that, 